No, the grievance they have from the past is a spiritual, only can be resolved in prayer with God and, and because it goes to forgiveness. And the thing is, is that if I wanted to hold a grudge against Satanists for um, persecuting me, lying to me, traumatizing me, and making my life completely horrible, I could, I could start suing them right and left where I find them. But of course that's absurd. I have to let it go and I must forgive. And I must walk on. If that's, if that's impending on my life, some kind of bitterness about that, or some kind of, it's going gonna, it's gonna to stop me from living. It's going to ruin my life. It's not going to do anything to the people that were the perpetrators. These people that are perpetrators of those kinds of things, gang stalking is part of it, you know, all that. You know, just trying to, 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 to get out ahead of you and throw all kinds of roadblocks in front of you. Just make sure your life is miserable. And, you know, drive you hopefully to suicide, then laugh at your death. You know, th yes, there are people like that in this country, unfortunately. But the solution... Um, well, no, that stuff doesn't really happen anymore, but it's, it's, it, 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 you know, it's, there's always a, you know, my frustration is even about stuff like that. It's, you know, I, I just let that stuff go at this point. If I see it coalescing out there, I just, I just say, yeah, bring it on. I don't give a damn. You know, I, I've, I've been around this thing so many times that it's just, it's so boring. And so I just ignore it. <laughs> I'm not saying it doesn't happen. I just ignore it. Right, where people start saying things only. It's because, look, the people doing the, the, the process. I told you that the, the reason the gang stalking thing has changed is because it is demonic and it's gone mainstream now. So it's a, it's a political tool that is basically global. It was, you know, the whole world's targeted at this point. I, I think, you know, and that's going to take the, 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 the focus off you and make your life easier. And then you realize, oh, not just, I see now. Yeah, well, it's demonic as well. You know how you're in a place and you're walking by, let's say a supermarket, you know, because there's aisles and items and, and then they say something that only they could know, that only you know, and no one could really know about you in conversation right next to you. Okay, let me explain what's happening so you stop freaking out. The demons know everything about you. And this is, you, you should have learned this in church, but you didn't. The demons, this is Demonology 101. The demons know everything there is to know about you. You know, where you went to school, the, who your friends were, you know, everything. You know, what, what were your good points, what, what things you're ashamed of. And know things that you've never told anybody. And they are possessing these people that are, right, those people are not on their own being orchestrated, they're possessed. And so they're saying things they don't even know. They know they're possessed, they know they're being used to say things that they have no clue about. Uh, but they, the, the deal they've made is they've allowed themselves to be used in that way. So they let, they can't fight it, and they say things. You know, it's like they're gone for a minute, and the demon takes over and says something through them that only you would know and no one else could possibly know. And then, okay, the next thing that happens is the fear cord is struck in you, big time. It becomes fight or flight, panic attack, Bill. You're freaked out and you gotta get out of there. Am I beginning to make some sense? You know, are we, are we am I right here? Of course I am. Now, I've been dealing with this thing for, you know, 40, 50 years, whatever, you know. I, I catch it, all this stuff. You know, most people don't. Uh, if you had just understood this and rebuked the demon, the Lord rebuke you as well. You know, you rebuke that demon in Jesus' name or the Lord rebuke you. Same, same difference. You know, you, you don't do it alone. You don't go, I rebuke you. <laughs> And uh, then you continue on uh, your day unfettered. How would that be? Your day, un, uh, you know, um, not unhinged, but your day very much uh, a, a placid, fun day. You're continuing on. You go get your items at the market. You go out and have a picnic, whatever you're going to do. But, you, you, you know, yes, it's evil and it's horrible, and, and I feel sorry for those people that are perpetrating it. But they can't do anything to you. 
if your fear cord isn't hit, then that's it. They shot all their ammo and they missed. You just walk right through the demons. The Lord makes a place for you in this world. You have every right to go anywhere you want. You don't go, it's better for them to go running home. And they will if you, you know, if you just simply smile at them and go, you know, I mean, this is what you might want to try. The next time they do that, you just, you just walk by and go, nice try. And then, and then it put them out of your mind and keep on going with whatever your day is. You know, and then if you see them running to the parking lot and jumping in their car and if, if they know you can remember, I brought up the story about this woman in a, in a, in the, uh, in the music uh, forum and she had this, 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 uh, this very hypnotizing kind of like a video to go with a music, but basically it was these Jesse's uh, getting control of this guy and then wanting him to, you know, perform sexually for them, you know, give them a show, so to speak. I don't need to go more into it than that, do I? And then, so it was like, you know, it was weird though. You know what I mean? There was like a weird thing on it. I said, I said very innocently to her, I said, you know, what, what, what is this about? You know, what are you, what, what are you, um, what exactly, you know, like I was confused by, I didn't because it wasn't just about sex exactly, you know, and, or, or them watching him getting himself off or whatever it was, you know, what is this about? You know, why are you, you know, and she flipped out. She went completely insane and she, she took the thing down immediately. You know, there's all these comments of all these guys were chiming in going, Hey, when's my turn? You know <laughs> Wanting to get involved, in it, right? Right? Couldn't wait, and then there was me. What? What? What is this exactly? Because I was seeing something else. I was seeing beyond that that surface of it, and so she confirmed it by running away. She'd been there for months. Had been doing videos. Had people just thought she was the greatest musician, and gave her all kinds of feedback. There was already, you know, fifteen comments on it when I made my comment, but my comment brought the entire house down and brought her down to nothing, you know, so, and why? Because she was depicting the satanic slavery ritual that goes on and, you know, figuring no one's going to figure that out. All I asked was a question. I didn't say anything proactively. I didn't need to. It's obviously demonic and it was obviously there to hypnotize the people there, especially the men into a certain thing. And, um, you know, I just asked what it was, you know, cause I'm kind of stuff like that doesn't work on me. Right. So it doesn't work on you stuff. Like, I'm not hypnotizable, you know, I never have been. So anything like that doesn't work on me. Anyway, she went running away, disappeared, lost her account, you know, never saw her again. She was a prominent person in film in New York. So she was actually a prominent individual. This is somebody that works with celebrities and, you know, big movies and all that. And um, I had no idea. I, it, I, after that, I, I left the, the thing, you know, eventually because I was too f tired of, you know, all the people that were pagans and they were all into the, you know, not just into stuff like that, which is slavery, by the way. You know, when Jezebel owns your testicles, uh, you know, and y your will is not your own. You have to go to them to ask permission if you want to do something in the world. Uh, excuse me, but that is slavery. Uh, the same thing. If you pass by these people in the, in the, you know, if you display, like, you know, you know what's happening and you walk by and you just go, nice try. It doesn't work today, you know. You know, carry on if you feel you must. I'm, I'm off with my day. I'm enjoying myself. That would also send them the same exact re result would happen because you're, you're, you're indicating something that you know exactly what they're up to. And that blows their mind and puts them in a fear moment and strikes their fear cord. And they run because they don't have Jesus. They don't have the Lord backing them up. If they get busted, you know, being too revelatory, you know, if it's so easy to discern what they're talking about, they get in trouble. You know, they get pounded, sometimes killed. So that's why they're so afraid because they're worried that, you know, something's going to come out of nowhere and, 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 and clock them. And it does. They are forbidden 
totally to, to divulge um, secrets, one of which is that there is a world like that. You know, so they figure they could put a little video together of this scene, figuring that most people wouldn't know what they were looking at. And then I came along and ruined, of course, the whole the whole thread, the whole day, all the comments, everything. I ruined it. It blew up. But I earnestly wanted I wanted her to explain what she was doing. She couldn't. She felt busted. She wasn't worried about me. She was worried about the retribution from her horrible master and you know who you know any range of torture will, will, will do I'm sure she got punished because you're not supposed to put that stuff in film and then uh, that stuff doesn't exist and I know it's uh, what you, you know, there's no sense getting scared about all this this is unfortunately the spiritual battle that we find ourselves in I don't um they think they're so clever um, having this other world that, you know, no one will detect that they arrogantly sometimes put it out there. And, you know, they, they have, oh, we've gone through lyrics here. We've gone through the Zephyr Board. We've gone through all, all, all manner of ways that they try to put it and display it out in plain sight, but so that you can't figure out what it is. If you do figure out what it is, then they could get in trouble because there's supposed to be a veil there. And the only way that you can actually get through the veil to see what's over there is to break on through to the other side. And if you, that's the only way you're going to understand what's on that side. If you start understanding it without breaking on through the other side, then everyone's in real trouble, especially them. So Jesus would do that all the time. He would, we're talking about demonology here. What there is over there on the other side is a world run by demons. That's, that's correct. Demonic possession is what the other side is. That's correct. Yes, they have power. So when they possess you, you have suddenly you can write music that you could never write. You can do things you could never do. Wow, you know, the world's your oyster. You know, wow, you can make money and you can, you can just tear it up. 